Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. I hope everyone's having an amazing week so far, recovering from your weekend, doing lots of cake orders. And I wanted just to hop in here and just really talk about if you are frustrated with your cake business, uh, perhaps you're just not really caring too much about your business anymore, you're frustrated, you're not liking the results that you're currently getting, you know, like things are kind of good, you know, cake business is doing fine, but you're really just not getting the results and you're not just really taking your business to the next level and really just to really do about that and what to do when you're really frustrated about the results that you're getting or you're just not liking your cake business anymore um, and really just how to make those certain type of type of tweaks that you can really do in order to really get back on like the positive like high mountain road for your cake business and really just start to really love and embrace your cake business um, even more um, this is something that I've gone through um, and it was really difficult in order for me just to really um, face the fact that um, I was frustrated with my cake business, but there was a point where I just didn't even like my cake business anymore. And just kind of like how I, how I dealt with that, what did I do about that and everything. So I want to say hello to everyone who is watching the replay and hello to everyone who is watching me live. Um, let me know who's joining me so I can say what's up to you and everything like that. This is going to be a short little live stream, but hopefully you guys are going to get some nuggets from this so you can really just take your business um, forward and really just kind of get out that little frustration um place that you're currently or you might be in or anything like that so just like a little backstory um there was a point in my cake career where i pretty much like hit an explosive um growth to here uh, am i saying i can't say that right yeah hi <laughs> Um, there was a point in my cake business where I was like, I hit an explosive growth in my cake business and I was booking lots of orders prior to like me actually fulfilling the orders. You know how you're booking orders month after month and everything, but the orders that I was actually booking were, um, were like coming up and everything was just kind of like, I hit a certain point and then I became massively busy i hope this kind of makes sense you know like throughout the month i was like booking orders but then it was time to produce all the orders that i needed to really deliver and everything and i really got um awesome <laughs> i really got super frustrated with my cake business and with the growth that i've had you know i was growing expanding you know really just making the money that i really desired in my cake business but i really got to burn out pretty quickly and i didn't know how to like really manage um time management um my Orders, really getting things out there, really taking care of myself and everything. It was kind of like I was going to sleep, waking up with doing my orders and then just kind of like on a repeat and everything like that. And I just really wasn't liking the results that I was really getting. I was really frustrated with my cake business and um, I just kind of didn't really know what to really do about that because I invested so much money into my cake business, um, lots of time, lots of effort and everything like that. And I was highly, highly, highly stressed out about like my business and where it was kind of going. And then I was, and I started to really just put this dark cloud on top of me to where I just wasn't really liking what I was doing anymore. I was just really frustrated. I didn't, um, the bottom line of kind of what was really going on was um, I just wasn't really managing my time well and I just didn't anticipate for the growth that I was experiencing. It's like I knew it was going to happen but I was too much in denial to really do anything about it until it actually happened and then I had to really deal with it as it was happening. It was just like poor business decisions um, really just waiting to last minute to do a lot of things and I just wasn't really happy and then that was like right around the time to where I had to go film for the show that I was on in Toronto and um, I had to prepare for that show whenever you're doing like a competition they actually give you stuff to prepare for the show and everything like well ahead of time they moved my air date way up like by like 25 days they moved my air date up to where I had to prepare for it way earlier in advance and then I was just like hit this big growth so it was just like all this stuff just kind of going on in my life and I was just like how am I really going to deal with it I didn't even really like my cake business anymore and I was like calling my mom I was crying because um, I just had like cake things happen things that I didn't really anticipate and I just wasn't really happy about that so one thing um, and maybe you're going through a stage where you're kind of like frustrated about like your pricing or the clients that are coming to you or you're not really dealing like um, you're working full-time and how to like deal with like full-time business running your cake business you 
know, you're really just trying to do this full time, but you have a job to work or part time job or anything like that. You know, you're kind of frustrated about where you are in your cake business. So one thing that um, really helped me inside my cake business, let me know who's live. Hello, everyone. Um, one thing that really helped me in my cake business was to really just take back my power that I have given out um, and really did not take that responsibility for kind of what was really going on. I was really just blaming a lot of things that I just didn't really take responsibility of. And that might seem like the oh, Christina, take responsibility and everything like that. But this is pretty much how you're going to create the change that you're really looking for in any type of relationships, health, business. You have to take full responsibility of everything that's going on in your life. I was pointing the finger at like, who can I point the finger at? Um, I was like talking about why did this client order this cake? Why did they have this wedding on this day? I was just like blaming everybody instead of just really taking the full responsibility for like everything that was kind of going on in my life. So once I kind of took back my power from everything that I was kind of giving it to, I was able just to really sit down, think, okay, how can I really create the change I'm really looking to create in my cake business? So I was thinking, what do I really want? Where do I really want my cake business to go? How do I really want to feel in my cake business? Instead of running like in a chaotic state, um, really like, uh, like open, like, night and day, just like working on my cake business. That's not like how I like to work and stuff. Like, how do I really want to work? And so from there, I went to the end result. Like, how do I want to feel? Where do I want my cake business to go? Because I really do want to enjoy my cake business. There was also the time I quit my cake business. Not a lot, like some people kind of know that, like I kind of quit my cake business and stuff. I was still fulfilling orders, but I was like, you know, after this order, I'm done. I'm like, I'm not doing this anymore. I was just really like at this breaking point. It was just like a, a mini, like mini breakdown that I had. And I was just kind of temporarily quit. But then like, um, I like didn't really quit. Like people didn't know I did that anyway. Um, so then from there, um, I took responsibility from everything that was going on in my life. And then I thought about what was that end result that I was really looking to have in my cake business. How do I want to run my cake business? How type of clients that I really want to work with consistently? What do I want to be doing week in, week out? And how do I really want to work? in my cake business. That was my lesson that I needed to learn. Like, how do I really want to effectively work in my cake business instead of going to crazy town, like every single weekend? Like, how can I keep this up? How do I really want to work? And so from there, I was thinking responsibility. What can I do to create the change in the reality that I'm really look, really look to look for? And then from there, I really just took it as a small project and then broke that down into little, uh, little steps for like, what can I do to create the change I'm looking to do? This is how you're going to really create change in anything that you're really looking for in your cake business. How can I really create the change that I'm really looking to get? And I really stuck committed to the change because I was so done with the current reality that I was living. I was done overworking, being stressed, um, just really thinking, how can I keep this up? How can I really do all these orders and everything? Maybe for you, it might be um, charging more for your cakes. You know, if you're, if you're really sick and tired of doing that, you need to really take responsibility for the prices that you're earning in your cake business and really decide, I am going to run my business in another direction but these are the prices that I want to charge and I'm going to go towards that new direction and everything but um, that's really going to say okay you have your project and you're going to break it down to what do I actually need to do in order to create that change that I'm really looking to get and then from there of course you have to really act on that change and really just commit to really making the change happen um, a lot of times commitment and change really happens for people in their business when they they hit a breaking point in their business to where they don't want to operate their business like that anymore. Um, that's like why people like um, they drastically change their business and then they really skyrocket. That's what happened for me for how I really started to charge premium pricing for my cake for my cakes. I really got done undercharging. I was really, really, really sick and tired of it. But a lot of times people change because they just hit a breaking point of not being okay with the change that they really want. That's how people really do change. You know, you're just kind of tired of the results that you're getting. Um, and so from there, you really just embrace the change because that's something that you really want. You want a new and better way of operating your cake business and know it's possible to have a cake business that you do love, that you're making amazing money from that. And you're able to really um, have like 
the prices that you want to charge, the clients that you really want to work with, um, the industry, like networking, relationships that you do want to have, it's available for you, but you have to be responsible to really make that change happen and commit to the change and commit to the desire that you really want to have for your business. Is this making sense to anyone? Um, let me know, at least who's live, you know, I like, you know, saying what's up to you guys and everything, but... I do a lot of stuff like study on change. How can I really change habits? How can I help my clients get the changes that they're looking for um, in Perfectly Price Your Cakes, which is my eight-week workshop? Like I'm helping them like how to get the change to really stick to charging premium pricing. So, But I do this in my own relationships, in my own life. Like I'm really sick and tired of the result I'm getting. And a lot of times I change because I'm really tired of the result. Lydia, you are seriously describing me. Love this. Awesome. When, like, what type, what's really frustrating you? If you care to share, let me know. Hi, Maria. Um, you know, that's like how things really move and shake in business. Um, there was a time where, um, I mean, of course, We've all, you guys know this, you know, I charge low prices. I charge $350 for a cake serving like $150. And that cake like even had a sheet cake too. So I was charging way less servings per slice than what I was even really getting for that. And I got a reef. They requested a refund for that cake as well. So I was really done with working with the clients who just were not cutting it for me financially, like um, energetically in my business. And I was like, I'm done with working with these clients who are just like not the business and everything. But then I committed to changing my business into a high end business and stuff. I really got tired of that change. So um, that's really gonna how you're going to get that change is when um, you're really looking for a new result, which is something that I know you guys are here. You're really looking to create a high-end cake business and everything. So I hope this really helped you really say, how can I create the change that I'm really looking to get and really just stop being frustrated, not being like, uh, being unhappy and you're my business and stuff. That's something that um, you start your business. You shouldn't be really unhappy. And when you're unhappy, that's just kind of like an indicator that something's not right. And you need to change something. So then you're going back into your happy space. Because when you're happier, you create better, you charge more, um, you attract better paying clients, kind of like when you're in a better like energetic state. Giselle, hello. So I hope this helps everyone for how to really get that change and what to do when you're really frustrated in your business. And no, it's not the end of the world. No, it's not like uh, you have to close up shop. And so I was very dramatic. I closed up shop and um, I was like, I'm done. I'm burnt out and everything. And then I was like, I have to film for this show too. So when, if you guys, you guys may have seen on um, the show that I was on, Sugar Showdown, like I was already kind of mentally a little checked out of my cake business when I actually went to go film for that show. Cause I just kind of came, I was going from burnout to filming for the show. So I'm even going to like talk about how even I believe I sabotaged myself on that show. Underpricing. So many home bakers are charging 30 to 75 for cakes and I'm losing money if I try to compete with them price wise. I've had five people tell me today that I'm overpriced and I know I'm still not charging enough. I had to take a three month break because I broke down and lost my love. Exactly. Okay. So for this one, this one's an easy fix um, or just a way to kind of see this differently, Lydia, is... Um, you know, there are going to be people out there in the cake industry, in the cake world, who do not charge their worth, who do not understand pricing, who underprice themselves, who probably lose money on the cakes that they're selling, but they're willing to do whatever it takes to book a client and to sell a cake. You know, like they're willing to um, say it's going to take them 12 hours to design a cake and it's going to, they're going to charge less than $200. There are people out there who will do that. And so let them do that because um, if they're even educated about their cake business, they know that they're probably losing money. They're overworking. That's really not even going to help them get their business off of the ground because they don't really value themselves and really respect that they have to earn money in business to really grow and stuff. Um, 
people who do that don't really get that and stuff and there's plenty of people out there it's just something to recognize understand and know that there are bakers out there who don't have a clue about it but what you want to do is focus your energy on really just operating your business being, being very professional working with the clients that you do want to work with and really just start to attract people who want to work with a very professional polished um cake designer who has a real business who charges her worth because people like high-end clients respect and value high-end work high-end clients don't really work with budget clients right you know budget clients work with budget cake designers so a lot of people they say i don't you know i want to charge more you have to really change your business to a high-end business if you want a high-end clients so high-end clients don't work with budget cake designers like someone who doesn't even really take their business seriously. So don't pay them attention. You know, people don't really get that. Um, people are going to undercharge. They're not going to charge their worth. They're going to say who the lowest cake designer who charges the least wins and stuff. And people say you're too expensive and that's, you know, then that's their business. You know, because budget clients, um, you guys know how passionate I am talking about this topic and stuff. But budget clients really have the amount that they're going to pay and they're not going to pay more than that. That's why you want to attract better paying clients into your cake business. I hope that helped. That was a little middle, mini coaching session right there. But yeah, just don't pay attention to them. Hi, Leah. Hey. hey. <laughs> I posted a video for you inside the group, so I hope you watched that. So does anyone else have any questions for me about what to do when you're really frustrated, you're not liking the results or anything? I've been there, done that. Um, it was very painfully, like, ugly. <laughs> Not ugly, but it was very dramatic. And you guys could probably bet, like, I'm like, a, ooh, you know, I kind of take it up to, like, another high level and stuff. So I, um, if you have, like, a little frustration or anything, and Lydia, let me know if that helped you just to kind of see how you can see that situation a little bit differently. Because just think of, it's just like the lens that you want to choose to see it out of instead of the current lens that you're seeing it out of. Like, how can I see this differently? and stuff because then you're going to get a new reaction out of like your business so um i hope this helped um for anyone who watched it who joined in a little bit late um i'm going to post the replay for really just how to what to do when you're really frustrated with your cake business and what to really do to get that change that you're really looking for um for your cake business because you guys deserve to have an amazing business you deserve to work with clients that you love you do deserve to charge the prices that you really want to uh charge for your cake business and stuff but how to really shift that into a new direction it happens to everyone it, everyone's not perfect in business um it's not like peonies and roses over here on my end about my cake business so i kind of like gone through the ups and downs like you guys are probably going through as well but then you know when you kind of go up you kind of stay a little bit up when you kind of like learn to manage through your frustrations, the energy, like what that really does for you and how to manage that a little bit better. So you're not having like extreme highs and lows in your business. You learn how to manage your emotions a little bit better. So then you're always able to kind of get back on track a little bit faster. Take back the power in your cake business. So um, for the replayers, if you have any questions for me, um, comments, let me know. Um, for anyone else who's joining me live and you didn't get a chance to comment, um, you still have a chance to comment after this video. And I will see you guys later inside the group.